that its feedback mechanisms don't work and we shouldn't do what it wants to do. So the foods that cause the increased cholesterol, like I said, what I call the big three, starches, sugars, and alcohols. And I have had quite a number of times when people have what they've been told are a very high cholesterol, and maybe even sometimes they are so high that I would look at it and go, yeah, your cholesterol is higher than I would expect. Like a 45-year-old comes in, their cholesterol is 320. So I'm not going to say, oh my goodness, go to your doctor and get a statin drug immediately. What I'm going to say is, your body has decided that you need a larger amount of cholesterol than I would expect your body to need at your age. Let's see if we can figure out what things are all going wrong. Let's give your liver some support. Let's change your diet and pull out or reduce greatly the starches, sugars, and alcohols. Let's increase the good fats that the doctor has told you not to take. Maybe we're going to triple your egg intake. Maybe we'll say start leaving the skin on the chicken. And usually what happens is the cholesterol starts going down. When we bring in a lot of the foods that the physician has told them do not eat, and we take out the foods that the physician has said, oh, no, don't worry about that. Well, how about sugars? Don't worry about that. Well, how about my whole grain bread? Oh, no, whole grain bread is good for you. How about all the whole grain pasta? I eat a lot of pasta. Oh, it's good for you. No, it's not. And so we change that, and then the doctor doesn't know what to do. And, I, and I've had this. I, I had a, a particular, before my, uh, my office burned down the fires, I used to, with, of course, their name uh, crossed out. I used to put a couple of labs up here. I should just grab a couple more because I've got plenty of examples of this. But this particular gentleman called me up. His cholesterol numbers were right around 350. Uh, his triglycerides, which actually do have more to do with heart disease, and we don't want them to be high. We want triglycerides to be preferably way under 125. And his was 600. Uh, his liver values were escalated, which meant his liver was working so badly that even the numbers that the doctor looks at were already out of range. And he wanted to do it naturally. And so the doctor said, naturally, it doesn't work. But if you want to try, go ahead. I'll give you six weeks, and then we're going to put you on the statin drug. When he told me that, I got furious because if you're not in jail, you get to decide. You need to understand that. If you're not in jail, you get to decide. The doctor doesn't say, I'm putting you on this drug. What the doctor is really doing, and really, honestly, what the doctor is doing is he or she is saying... I believe you should take this drug, and I'm going to give you a prescription which enables you to buy it if you want to. That's really the way it should be phrased. And maybe even they could say, if I were you, I would take this drug. Of course, some of them don't want to lie because sometimes they know that if they were you, they wouldn't take the drug, but that's another, <laughs> that's another discussion. So he said, I'll give you six weeks. And when he said that, I said, he'll give you six weeks? He said, that's what she said. This particular cardiologist was a woman. He said, that's what she said. So I said, well, she's going to have to give you more than six weeks because I can't see you for a month and a half. <laughs> so we finally get him in in a month and a half. And he said, I'm going to be one of your best patients. I said, what does that mean to you? He said, I will eat exactly as you want me to eat. You don't have to be that strict. You're not dying of cancer. He said, no, I want to see the largest changes I can see to prove to the doctor I can do it with diet. I said, okay. I mean, I don't mind people that are really, really uh, you know, strict in making the changes. So we go over everything the things that I've been going over with you and that I'll continue to go over today. And he uh, doubled or tripled his egg consumption because he'd been eating almost none. And I said, you can eat as many eggs as you want as long as they're free-range and organic. And he actually, I remember, he said, you might not want to say that to me. And I said, why wouldn't I want to say that to you? He said, because I really love eggs and because the cardiologist hasn't let me eat more than one a week. If you tell me I can eat as many as I want, I'm probably going to start eating a dozen a week. I said, dozen a week. That's a good number. I have a dozen a week. I have a dozen a week. My wife has a dozen a week. Sometimes we have two dozen a week. He said, oh, you really mean that? I said, yes, I really mean that. Okay. So he's writing all this stuff down because he wants to be a good patient. Okay, so I can have as many eggs as I want. I said, I prefer that you don't cook them at high temperatures because high temperature hurts the egg. I'd love you to have some raw. We'll be going over that with eggs. Uh, but as far as quantity, I don't care. Uh, you like chicken? He said, yeah, I've been eating chicken. I eat you know, white meat with the skin off. I said, well, now you can have the dark meat if you want it and leave the skin on it. And get free-range organic if you can. They're healthier for you if you can afford it. I can leave the skin on the chicken? Yes. Okay, he's writing that down. And he starts going down. He said, he said, have vegetables? I said, vegetables are very good for you as long as they're not starchy vegetables. So all the vegetables you want, we're cutting out corn. We're cutting out potatoes. We're cutting out the winter squash. You know, all the high starch ones. All the other things... That's fine. Okay, what should I cook them in? Ah, cook them in butter and coconut oil. 
how about the margarine he told me to buy? So throw it out. Okay. So we start to get down this entire list. You know, he pulls out, stops eating bread, stops eating pasta. Um, and we do six weeks. And he goes back in. And the doctor runs another set of labs. And he brings me the labs. And I'm looking at the labs. And his, his cholesterol has gone down just in six weeks. It's going to continue more. But in six weeks, it went down about 50 points. Uh, his triglycerides went down from 600 to about 100. So they went down 500 points. Uh, both, of his normal, both of his liver values normalized. And I'm looking, and I said, that's, that's what I normally see. I said, has your doctor uh, looked at this yet? She said, yeah, I was in her office. She was comparing it. I said, did she say something? He said, I wish you had been there. He said, you should have been up on the wall like a fly, you know, looking at it. I said, why, what happened? He said, well, she had the two tests in her hand from six weeks ago and from the ones that we just got back this week. And she kept looking back and forth between the two tests. And she said, I've never seen anybody's numbers go in the healthy direction this fast in my entire life. And so he said, so I started telling her. He said, well, um, he said, I should forget about the things you told me. And this is how, and this is how he wanted me to eat. He said he wanted me to have only non-starchy vegetables, stop eating all of my whole grain breads and whole grain pasta because the starch would raise my cholesterol. He said I could have as many eggs as I want, so I've been eating about a dozen or more a week. He said don't you dare throw out the yolks, so I've been eating the whole egg. Uh, and he said anytime you're cooking up vegetables or anything like that, he said I want you to use for an oil, if it's a very low heat you can use extra virgin olive oil, otherwise use uh, the tropical oils like uh, palm kernel oil, coconut oil, or use butter and and do not let any margarine touch your lips. And she, he said she put her hand up and said, stop. <laughs> he said, don't tell me anymore. Everything you're doing is wrong. He said, then she looked back down at the numbers and she said, for some strange reason, for you they seem to be working, so I guess keep doing it. And the proper answer is, oh my this shouldn't be possible. What is this man or woman's name? I would like to learn more. Try it with another dozen of my patients and see if it works with others. Doctors never call me. They never. They, they, just, they just say, I don't know why this stuff works, but keep doing it. That's the problem we have. That is the big problem. So...